My name is Jacob Chandler. I'm 22 years old. I've competed in the 2011 uh, Natural Michigan and John Simmons, completed in the 2012 Teen Nationals, uh, 2013 Natural Michigan, and the 2013 Teen Nationals. I'll probably be competing again soon this summer. Um, not really sure, haven't decided on a show, and hopefully that leads into a national show after that. Okay. Um, so did you go through a national show? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, uh, what have you been doing in your offseason? Well, in the offseason, I've been trying to put on some size. Um, obviously, add mass, eat more than I should. That's my metabolism. It's like crazy, so I always got to eat an excess amount of calories. Been trying to train heavier. Um, once again, just move into another weight class. I've been competing in middle weight the whole time, and I like to move into light heavies. And if I do move into light heavies, I want to be at the top of the weight class. So that's going to require me to put on about 20, 25 pounds. Okay, now you are a natural, right? Yes. Um, you've done natural tested shows and everything. Yep. Um, how's that? Have you always been a natural athlete then? Yeah. I mean, it's just for me personally as a health reason. I like looking at my health as like an overall, you know, scope of everything I do. And if if I can keep my body healthy and still put on muscle at the same time, why wouldn't I? I don't want to have any long-term effects and I want to live a long, healthy life. So, I mean, at the end goal, yeah, it's for being muscular and looking big. But at the same time, it does matter internally what's going on with your heart, your liver, and everything else that goes into this sport that ends up getting damaged when you put things off. Yeah. Well, good deal, man. Um, go ahead and take us through your workout today, um, the movements you did, what you like about Um. Let's see, we started off with uh, just a seated chest press, just to warm up, I like to get it. I like to do that one because I can dip really far back and really stretch out the tendons in my shoulder. Um, after that, I believe we moved into incline dumbbell bench. I started off with 100s and then we worked our way up to 130s. I, like I said, I was trying to go heavier in the soft season, really push myself, even if it's a low amount of reps. And the form might slip a little bit towards the end of each uh, set. But I, I really think it's just about trying to put your muscle under as much stress as possible. After that, we moved to incline bench. Uh, I stuck with 225 for that and just got as many reps as I could. Um, even with doing high weight workouts, I still try to work in some volume and some consistency to uh, make sure I'm not losing it too much. And then after that, we moved into, I believe, pause reps on the flat bench. That's something I actually saw uh, Evan Senapati and John Meadows doing. Um, it's like a five second pause and then you touch your chest and come up. And I saw him doing it, I was like, why not give it a try? And I've been doing it for a while now and I love the feeling you get off of it, you get a really good pump off of it and you get a really good stretch in your chest as well. From there we moved to, uh, I believe, cable flies. We did upward cable flies and then bent over cable flies. Once again, just trying to get as much stress as you can and get more reps in than weight after doing the heavier sets in the beginning of the workout. We finished that up with uh, just a pack deck and got as many reps as we could with a medium weight just to polish off the rest of the chest. So you be, um, you haven't competed in two, two years? Year and, so? Well, a year and a half, two years. Okay, so you've had an off season. Um, how's your um, gains been during that time? It's been good. Um, my off season weight was really never that heavy. I was always around 185 to 190, but I'm up to 200 to 205 and even 210s if I eat enough food uh, throughout the day. And your height again, bud? So five eight. Yeah, so that's a lot of size yeah. on my frame. <laughs> yeah, five, five eight. But um, it. I don't, it's been good. It's hard to put on weight sometimes, especially, like I said, getting in the right amount of calories. So you really just got, I got to keep eating and stay with it and keep training heavy. And I think after two years, hopefully when I do step on stage again, there'll be something to show. Yeah. What's it like for you by doing the, being a college student, uh, plus working, plus training? Is that it's, it, it makes it exciting. I'll leave it at that. Uh, there's a, there's not much free time to do what you want. A lot of times it's, you know, go to class, do your homework, go to the gym, go to work, repeat and just keep going, keep chugging along. And although there might not be much free time, you almost fall in love with it a little bit. You fall in love with the grind, if you want to call it that. Um, you're just always doing something. Your mind's always busy. You're always keeping your time occupied, which is good. And you know, it allows you to grow as a person and it allows you to see what your limits really are. If you can run, if you can go get a workout in on five hours of sleep and also study for that exam and make sure you're on time to work. And I figure if I can get through this and there's not too much else that I won't be able to get through. Yeah. Okay, man. Well, that's cool. We'll definitely uh, follow up with you as you get closer to the show and uh, get some more videos in and uh, keep in touch. And you look great, man. During the, uh, when this guy's getting ready for the show, he has the craziest veins <laughs> I've seen on like any person. <laughs> so I'll try and go through and see if I can pull one of his old ones off. Yeah, definitely. So, okay, well, take care, man. We'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks. Have a good one.